causing a commotion? Who's that? Is TV in motion? Hurry up! You better make haste, there's no time to waste, it's... TV, TV, TV! In motion! Ah, what a beautiful morning! I don't know if you noticed, but there's kind of snow everywhere. And my big fear has always been that I'm going to slip down the chat tunnel with the snow on it, and it could happen. But they've got this big step in the middle, I think, so if you come tumbling down, you stop there and you don't keep going. Edmonton is always at its hottest when I'm around. At the start of my vlog when I visited Edmonton to see Lisa and Jack, it was the hottest week of spring they ever had. Then the, week I, the day I left, it rained. I come here to live here, there's no snow. Edmonton never makes it that this deep into the year without snow. And as soon as I leave for one weekend, boom, snow everywhere. It's not a coincidence. I didn't end up vlogging much about my weekend, but I'll tell you this, that it was wonderful. It was a dream. I had such a blast. And it was really weird to be back to real life now, but I'm sure by the end of the day, I'll be right back into the groove of things. I have to like go shopping and clean my room and do all the stuff to get my life back in order. But I'm in a great mood, I feel really refreshed. And I can't wait to go back when Christmas comes around. I've got like four weeks and then my school is over for the semester and I can head right on back, back home. So it won't even be too long. I'm home from school and I have a heck of a lot of work to do because basically all the clothes I own are dirty right now. Like I have zero pairs of underwear left. So I'm going to be washing all the stuff up. Somebody help me get this package here. You know who you are. Thank you to you because I was really happy that's here and now I just got to figure out where to send it. It's for my little sister. It's a present for her. And also, I bought an update for my computer and this may help it go faster. It's called Snow Leopard. So we'll see. I also have to make dinner, so those are my plans for tonight. It's gonna to be pretty fun. Okay, good news and bad news. The good news is, is that I got almost everything I needed to get done, done. The bad news is that the one thing I didn't do was vlogging. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty late, or pretty early, you could say. And I need to go to bed, so I'll catch you up another day. Good, night. good morning. It's eight o'clock in the morning. And I'm just eating breakfast and getting everything ready. I'm about to leave because I have a workout this morning. I stayed up way too late last night. So when I woke up, I really didn't want to go work out this morning. But what I did was I told myself, Stephen, sometimes to get the things that you want to get in life, you have to sacrifice. You have to do stuff you don't want to do so you can achieve those goals. So this is me pushing through my laziness right now. Uh, it's so cold outside lately that I don't really want to vlog because my hand gets cold. <laughs> I am home from school, I had a busy day, busy week really I have, but I think I'm probably going to be saying that for the rest of November and December. But you see the snow, what everyone told me at school is, is that there's going to be like lots and lots and lots of snow tonight. I don't really see too many clouds, but that's what they say. Will it happen? I don't know, but I might be bringing a shovel to clear a path for me on my way to school tomorrow. Here's the most exciting part of my day so far. I was cleaning my room and I put my groovy glasses on my dog. It's going to snow for 24 hours and it's supposed to start as early as 9 o'clock tonight, which is in half an hour. I don't know. But yeah, 24 hours of snowfall then is ridiculous. So something happened that I thought was kind of funny. I was just relaxed and watching Survivor after cleaning my room and it was about to end. And then I get a text from Jenny down under and she's like, Stephen Wild! You come into your radio show? And I was like, what? I completely forgot that I had to go to SBC Aftershock tonight. This is the first night I forgot. Good thing is Jenny texted me at 23 minutes until my show starts. And it takes me 20 minutes to get to school, so I should be able to get there in time. But if it weren't for Jenny, I wouldn't have even known. Also, so it's like past 9.30 and look, not a snowflake in the sky. None to be seen. Only on the ground. Made it. That was such a ridiculous post. What? At Stacy just called say. into the SBC show. My favorite thing to say, um... Or, or, or the thing you say all the time. The thing that I say all the time is I say dude a lot and yeah. that makes me seem really more masculine and... 
a lot less feminine, which is really disappointing. Oh, <laughs> I bet, dude. Dude. Well, we're actually about to go on air, so I'm gonna give you over to Stevie. How about that? Okay. It's a person. Good night.